legacy of Morgan Rogers, a former Duke University lacrosse student athlete who died tragically in July of 2019 after battling mental health struggles. Although Morgan's life was cut way too short, her legacy of unconditional love remains. Morgan's message was created by her family and former teammates with the mission to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health, normalize the conversations about mental health, and to ensure that mental health is treated equally to physical health for all student athletes. It was also created to empower those who suffer in silence and to support those who feel alone. To find more information on Morgan's life and legacy or ways to support Morgan's message and how you can help those with mental health struggles, please visit morgansmessage.org. At this time, we ask that you all please join us in a moment of silence to honor and remembrance of Morgan Rogers and the beautiful lives of all student athletes who have lost their battles with mental health. Thank you. And now your starting lineups for this evening's game. Hello everyone and a welcome to the George Finney Stadium on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University where we are getting set for women's lacrosse action between the host Baldwin Wallace University Yellow Jackets and the University of Mount Union Purple Raiders. Taking a look at the starters, first for Mount Union, at midfield, a 5'3 sophomore, number one, Mackenzie Kolstad. At midfield, a 5'4 senior, number two, Julia Bates. On attack, a 5'8 senior, number four, Maddie Carr. On defense, a 5'10 senior, number five, Megan Cassiola. On attack, a 5'4 junior, number seven, Emily Nanaroni. On defense, a 5'5 senior, number eight, Maddie Mitchell. In goal, a 5'9 sophomore, number 15, Abby Linfist. On defense, a 5'8 junior, number 17, Tara Santoro. On defense, a 5'9 junior from Menor, number 18, Jillian Maffitt. On attack, a 5'8 junior, number 22, Katie Clark. On attack, a 6'0 senior, number 27, Sam Carr. And at midfield, a 5'6 junior, Number 30, Eden Kessler. The Purple Raiders are led by head coach Bethany Snyder. She's assisted by Katie Seidel. For the Baldwin Willis Yellow Jackets, on defense, a 5'2 freshman from ha Hamburg, New York. Number three, Morgan Massey. On attack, a 5'6 junior from Worcester. Number four, Lexi Conway. At midfield, a 5'5 junior from Tuckahoe, New York, number seven, Deanna Lucas. On defense, a 5'6 sophomore from Gibsonia, Pennsylvania, number eight, Carly Kerr. At midfield, a 5'5 senior from Olmstead Falls High School, number 10, Kat Radick. On defense, a 5'3 junior from Edina, number 13, Maddie Macron. At midfield, a 5'4 sophomore from Akron and Archbishop Hoban High School, Number 14, Rennick Mellon. On defense, a 5'5 sophomore from Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania. Number 15, Lauren Comack. On attack, a 5'4 senior from Bloomington, Minnesota. Number 19, Sophia Luma. On defense, a 5'7 senior from Youngstown. Number 34, Lily Poland. In goal, a 5'8 freshman from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Number 43, Carolyn Pottager, and on attack, a 5'4 sophomore from Delaware, Ohio, number 49, Lily Tope. The Yellow Jackets are co coached by Nicole Shoger, who is in her sixth season with the program. She is assisted by Bree Martinow and Cassidy Prather. Right now, we're going to take a pause for the national anthem. When we come back, we'll have the face-off of today's game from Trestle Field at the George Finney Stadium. And abroad with the playing of our national anthem.
Welcome back, everyone, to Trestle Field at the George Finney Stadium on the campus of Baldwin Tonight's Wallace University. It's women's lacrosse BWF action as the Yellow Jackets, who come in with a 3-12 and 12 overall the record. They are 1-5 and five at home on the website. against the Mount Union and Purple nice Raiders, who are 11-3 and three overall, and a perfect 6-0 and away BWF from Karras Stadium in Alliance. The Purple Raiders will be in black uniforms with white numerals and a purple lettering with white trim, a purple and purple accents down the sides of the jerseys. The Yellow Jackets will be in their home whites, and they will have brown lettering and brown numerals with gold trim around each. And before we get underway, I want to remind you that the Baldwin Wallace University and University of Mount Union women's lacrosse teams are dedicating tonight's game to the life and legacy of Morgan Rogers, a former Duke University lacrosse student athlete who died tragically in July of 2019 after battling mental health struggles. Although Morgan's life was cut way too short, her legacy of unconditional love remains. Morgan's message was created by her family and former teammates with the mission to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health normalize the conversations about mental health and to ensure that mental health is treated equally to physical health for all student athletes. It was also created to empower those who suffer in silence and to support those who feel alone. To find out more information on Morgan's life and legacy or ways to support Morgan's message and how you can help those with mental health struggles, please visit morgansmessage.org. Mount Union will go from right to left BW from left to right here in this first quarter. 15 minutes are up on the clock and it's controlled by the Yellow Jackets. It'll be Deanna Lucas jogging it up the left side of the field. She tried to get the ball to Maddie McCron and his last touch by the Yellow Jackets. That's a turnover. Mountain Union will take possession. Get sent up the right side of the field, across midfield now. Mount Union into the attack zone. Maddie Carr with it. So swing it behind the net to Nanaroni. She'll outlet it now to Kessler. It gets reversed over to Kalstad, and she'll send it back to Carr on the right wing. Into the middle of the field, a shot toward the net is deflected by the Yellow Jackets. It'll stay with Mount Union. Kessler with the ball out top. It goes to Bates over to the right side of the arc. Now into the middle. It goes to Nanaroni. And she'll send it to Katie Clark. Clark will jog behind the net. Jab steps with the right foot, then switches back to run to her left side. Looking for someone to outlet it to. She'll lob it into the middle of the field, and it'll be taken away by the Yellow Jacket keeper. Pottinger sends the ball up the field, and the Yellow Jackets will get it into the attack side of the field. It'll be swung over right side to Luma. Lume, excuse me. And behind the net it goes. It'll get sent to the left wing now, or jogged out to the left wing. Pass behind the net goes to Lexi Conway. She sends it into the middle, shot on net, it's the save for the Raiders, but the follow is there for the Yellow Jacket tally. Gold Jackets! Scores by number 49. Lily, Lily Tope. Tope with the goal on the rebound. It was an initial save from Lindfist, but she couldn't control the rebound as it didn't get she couldn't catch it in uh, the basket of her stick and uh, right on the doorstep was Tope and she rocketed it home for the Yellow Jacket tally. 
BW with a one to nothing lead over Mount Union with 12.32 to play here in this first quarter. In the faceoff circle, it'll be Sam Carr for Mount Union. It'll be Rennick Mellon for the Yellow Jackets. We're having a brief conference with the officials. Mellon with a one to nothing edge and draw controls in this game. Still in the very early stages. And both of the coaches now are being summoned to midfield to have a discussion with the officials. Tested. Mellon versus Carr. And it's flipped up in the air and controlled by the Purple Raiders. It's Kessler with the ball. She'll run it across midfield, send it up to Maddie Carr. And behind the net it goes to Emily Nanaroni. Out front to Colstad. Back to Kessler. Kessler swings it right side to Bates. Bates behind the net to Maddie Carr, and she'll send it over to Nanaroni. Purple Raiders try to drive towards the net. Ball is batted away. They keep possession, and it's a shot on goal, and it's a goal for the Purple Raiders as Eden Kessler the junior from Chagrin Keith Falls Kessler, and Kenston High School 22, puts it Park. home for the equalizer. We're tied at one with 11.47 to go here in the first quarter. And while we have this break in the action, I want to remind you that tonight's Yellow Jacket Women's Lacrosse game is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893, Chuck Rotuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider, Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University, Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics, Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, the home of the Monday Night Athletics Roadshow, and Antonio's Pizzeria of Middleburg Heights, the official pizza sponsor of Yellow Jacket Athletics. You are listening to Yellow Jacket Women's Lacrosse on BWYellowJackets.com and OAC TV. Mountain Union controlled the draw, and they're quickly into the attack side of the field. The inside pass goes to Colstead, and it's a save for Pottinger of the Yellow Jackets. Mount Union will retain possession. It's sent out to Katie Clark on the left wing. She loses a handle on it, but with no Jackets in pursuit, she's able to get it back under control and send it out front to Bates. Now right side to Kessler. Now to Maddie Carr behind the net. She'll swing it over to Nanaroni. Back to Katie Clark. And before Clark can fire a shot on net, a stoppage in play and a foul called against the Purple Raiders. It's turnover. The Yellow Jackets take possession. And it'll be Lauren Comack with possession of the ball. She'll send it back to Pottinger. She'll outlet it, trying to get it back to Comack. 
And Comac will scoop it up and run it across midfield. She'll send a pass left side to Deanna Lucas. It'll get reversed over to Lexi Conway. Conway trying to get in the attack circle. She has it poked away. Lily Tope ends up with the ball, and it's deflected away from the net, and Mountain Union will come out with the ball. Miss on the outlet pass, but Mount Union will chase it down as Maddie Carr hustles after it. Gets reversed over to Nanaroni. Back to Maddie Carr on the left side. She'll back it out to the wing, send it to Colstead. Colstead on the drive, fires it towards the net, and she bounces it in for the Mount Union goal. And just like that, Mount Union is in front. They have a two to one lead over the Baldwin Wellness Yellow Jackets with 9.23 to play here in the first quarter. So Sam Carr and Rennick Mellon will head back into the faceoff circle for the draw. They cross up their sticks, gets the ball play, get the ball placed on top, and they are ready to go. Once they get the signal from the official, Mellon flips it up in the air, and it'll be controlled by Sam Carr for Mount Union. Carr into the attack zone, and her pass is wide to Maddie Carr, but Emily Nanaroni is there to scoop it up and keep possession. Pass inside, and a shot goes wide of the net from Julia Bates. Mountain Union will keep possession. It's out to Colstead on the left wing. Over to the right side. It's Katie Clark. And stoppage in play. Foul on the Yellow Jackets, and Katie Clark will have a free shot on goal. And she will rocket it low left side and into the net for the goal. Raiders extend their lead over the Yellow Jackets to 3-1 to one with 8.44 to go here in this first quarter. Everything appears to come out okay after the equipment check. And we will head back to the face-off circle for the draw. conversations between the official and the scorers table in the early going of today's game but well, it looks like we're going to get back underway Mellon for the Jackets drawing against Carr for the Raiders 
McMillan flips it up in the air and is controlled by Mount Union. That's Kessler coming away with the ball. She hustles down the field to the right wing. Flips it into the middle of Clark. It's lost off of her stick and controlled by the Yellow Jackets. It'll be Lily Poland with the ball. She gets it poked away. Tries to scoop it back towards the center of the field where Mount Union will hustle after it. And Sam Carr with the ball. Runs off right side. Sends it to Maddie Carr. And before she can do that, we have a stoppage in play. It looks like a timeout has been called. With 8.14 to go here in this first quarter, the Mountain Union Purple Raiders with a 3-1 to one lead over the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. It is Mount Union on the timeout. And while we have this break, I want to remind you that tonight's Yellow Jacket women's lacrosse game is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes. And Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company, risk and insurance leader since 1893. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, the home of the Monday Night Athletics Roadshow. And Antonio's Pizzeria, Middleburg Heights, the official pizza sponsor of Yellow Jacket Athletics. You are listening and watching Yellow Jacket Women's Lacrosse on BWYellowJackets.com and OAC TV. Once again, 8-14 left in this first quarter, and it's the Mountain Union Purple Raiders with a 3-1 lead over the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. BW opened the scoring on Lily Tobe's goal at the 12-32 mark, and that lead lasted less than one minute before Mountain Union tied it up, and then in quick succession, within the next three minutes, they had ballooned their lead to two. Clark with the ball. She'll send it to Colstead on the left wing. Back to Clark, left side. In traffic, fires a shot on net. It's batted away, controlled by the Purple Raiders. Nana Roney outlets it to Colstead. She'll swing it right side to Kessler. Now to Maddie Carb behind the net. Outlets it to Bates. Bates tries to split two defenders, does so, looking for a shooting link, can't find one. The Yellow Jackets tightened up the defense and forced the pass. It goes behind the net, back to Bates, and she'll roof it right side for the Mount Union goal, and they go ahead 4-1 to one with 7.29 to go here in the first quarter. Four unanswered goals for the Purple Raiders to stake them out to a three-goal lead over the Yellow Jackets. Sam Carr versus Rennick Mellon for on the draw. The ball is placed and the signal is given. It's flipped up into the air and controlled by Kessler of the Raiders. She'll hustle down the left side to the left wing. Now sends it behind the net to Maddie Carr. Carr back to Kessler. Kessler jogs it out to the left wing, outlets it to Colstead. Back to Kessler. Kessler on the drive, goes wide, throws it wide of the net to the left side, but it's scooped up by the Purple Raiders. It's Emily Nanaroni keeping the possession alive. 
Out to Julia Bates it goes now on the right side where the stutter step gets around one defender, slips it to Carr, and she'll backhand it into the net. Pretty goal right there from Maddie Carr as she was going to her left, swung it back right, kind of nonchalantly, and it went right under the yellow jacket goalkeeper for the Mount Union tally. Union success has come in two forms today. Not only shots on goal as they are shooting 50%, 5 of 10, but they've also won the last five draws, looking to make it six in a row, but they won't as Deanna Lucas comes up with the ball for the Yellow Jackets. She jogs to the left side, and then it gets reversed behind the net. It's Lexi Conway with it. She outlets it to Luma. Out front it goes to Lily Tote. She'll jog it to the left wing. Now all the way behind the net. Gives it back to Conway. Plenty of time on the shot clock. 60 seconds for the Yellow Jackets. Back to Tote behind the net. In the middle of the field, it's stolen away by the Purple Raiders. Tara Santoro comes up with the ball. The Canfield native jogs it across the time or across the midfield stripe to the right side and outlets it to Maddie Carr before hustling back toward midfield. Maddie Carr behind the net to Katie Clark. And in the middle it goes. And missing the net was Sam Carr. But the Raiders will keep possession. Kessler swings it out top to Kalstad. Now over to Julia Bates. Back to Kalstad. She'll try to drive to the right. Switch back middle. Outlets it to Kessler. Kessler on the drive. Looking for a shooting lane. Finds one off the post. And it'll be overrun by one of the Raiders. And scooped up. By the Yellow Jackets, that's Rennick Mellon coming up with the ball. She hustles across midfield on the right side of the field. Change of direction once, twice. Now she keeps running up the field, looking for a teammate, and she'll find one in the form of Lexi Conway. Conway drawing a double team. She gets it knocked away. Re regathers it. And will send it to her teammate, but not before she gets sent to the field on a penalty from Sam Carr. Yellow Jackets with the ball. They send it out front to Luma. Back to Lexi Conway. The Worcester native sends it behind the net to Mellon. Now a pass gets deflected and it'll be scooped up by Lindfist. So they can't take advantage of the cross check. Called against Sam Carr. And now Mount Union will get a chance to move the ball up the field. And they draw a stoppage against the Yellow Jackets and will reset as the ball is back in play. 
Gets reversed over to Cassiola, and she loses a handle on it. It's out of bounds. Possession goes to the Yellow Jackets, and it'll be Morgan Massey. Trying to get a quick start, but before she can, there is a timeout on the field, and it's called by the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. They trail 5-1 to one here with 3.18 to go in this first quarter from Trestle Field at the George Vinney Stadium on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. While we have this a timeout, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's lacrosse game is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's game is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893. Chuck Rotuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, the home of the Monday Night Athletics Roadshow. And Antonio's Pizzeria of Middleburg Heights, the official pizza sponsor of Yellow Jacket Athletics. You are listening and watching Yellow Jacket Women's Lacrosse on BWYellowJackets.com and OAC. TV. Once again, 3.18 to go here in this first quarter, and the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets find themselves on the wrong end of a 5 to 1 score here against the Mountain Union Purple Raiders. BW out of the timeout, their first of the half, will have possession on the near sideline. And it'll be Morgan Massey with the ball. She sends it back to Lauren Comack, and Comack sends it up to Deanna Lucas. And we get a reset of the shot clock for the Yellow Jackets, so they get a new fresh 90. And it's Lexi Conway with the ball behind the net. She'll send a pass. And it gets reversed out front to Rennick Mellon. Mellon will jog off right side and send it to Kat Radek. Out of Conway. She tries to slip a pass in the middle of the field. It's knocked away by Mountain Union, but kept alive by the Yellow Jackets. Gets reversed to Deanna Lucas once again. Lobs it into the middle. Shot toward the net from Sophia Luma. And... There is a stoppage in play. And the Mountain Union Purple Raiders will get possession of the ball. charge up the field, send a pass over to Colstead in the middle of the field. She splits two defenders, gets to the top of the arc, and a stoppage in play. And the shot clock will once again be reset to 90. Katie Clark sends it out top to Bates. She'll reverse it right side to Kessler. Now to Maddie Carr behind the net. Over to Emily Nanaroni. Out to Clark. Clark left side to Nanaroni. She loses a handle on it. The Yellow Jackets converge and uh, they will be awarded possession. Pottinger with the ball. She'll outlet it to Morgan Massey. Massey back to Pottinger. She's looking for an outlet pass. She hasn't found one yet. She'll run behind her own net. 
looking to outlet it once again. The shot clock is down from, or down to rather, 60 and counting. It's Carly Kern. Finally, drawing a pass from Pottinger, and she'll draw a foul against the Purple Raiders as well. Comac with the ball for the Yellow Jackets. She gets around one defender. Clark forces her to pass. She will to Kern. Kern loses a handle on it. And the Yellow Jackets will retain possession on the stoppage for a foul against Mountain Union. Kern hustles down the left sideline. Under a minute to go in this first quarter between the Mountain Union Purple Raiders and Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. It's Deanna Lucas with the ball left side. Spins, tries to find Lily Tope in the middle and it's knocked away and then scooped up by the Mountain Union Purple Raiders. 25 seconds left. In this first quarter, Mountain Union with a four-goal lead, 5-1. to one. Looking for one final push. Try and get another tally before the end of the quarter. Santoro sends it back to Cassiola. She'll send it into the middle of the field to Kessler. Ten seconds left in this first quarter. Maddie Carr charges towards the arc. Over to Bates. Bates, backdoor pass to Clark, and she puts it home for the Mountain Union goal. Excellent bit of passing right there to beat the buzzer as Clark puts it home with one second left to go in this first quarter. Mountain Union now with a 6-1 to one lead over the Baldwin-Wallace Yellow Jackets. And six unanswered goals for Mountain Union after Baldwin-Wallace opened the scoring on a Lily Tope goal off of a rebound. And this is more formality than anything as neither team will have any time to do anything with just one second to go. Gets flipped into the air, controlled by Mount Union, and that'll end the first quarter. Once again, the Mount Union Purple Raiders with a 6-1 to one lead over the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. We're going to step aside for a break. When we come back, we'll have the second quarter from Trestle Field at the George Finney Stadium. Thanks for listening and watching on BWYellowJackets.com. Welcome back to uh, Trestle Field at the George Finney Stadium on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. Matt Florjancic along for the call of today's women's lacrosse game between the visiting University of Mountain Union Purple Raiders and the host Baldwin Wallace University Yellow Jackets. Mountain Union looking to close out a perfect slate in Ohio Athletic Conference play. They came in with a 6-0 conference record, BW with a 1-5 conference record. Before we get the second quarter underway, the Bolton Wallace University and University of Mountain Union women's lacrosse teams are dedicating tonight's game to the life and legacy of Morgan Rogers, a former Duke University lacrosse student athlete who died tragically in July of 2019 after battling mental health struggles. Although Morgan's life was cut way too short, her legacy of unconditional love remains. 
Morgan's message was created by her family and former teammates with the mission to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health, normalize the conversations about mental health, and to ensure that mental health is treated equally to physical health for all student athletes. It was also created to empower those who suffer in silence and to support those who feel alone. To find more information on Morgan's life and legacy or ways to support Morgan's message and how you can help those with mental health struggles, please visit morgansmessage.org. The Yellow Jackets and Purple Raiders switch things up. Mount Union will go from left to right here in the second quarter. BW right to left. It's Rennick Mellon for the Yellow Jackets taking the draw against Sam Carr of the Purple Raiders. Mount Union with a 6-1 to one lead over Baldwin Wallace. And it's flipped up into the air and Mellon giving chase but she cannot outrun Kessler and it'll be a foul on Mellon so possession will go over to Mount Union. And quickly Sam Carr hustles across midfield. Outlets it to Maddie Carr. Over to Emily Nanaroni. Out front to Mackenzie Kallstad. On the left wing, she'll send it out top to Julia Bates. Bates sends it right side to Kessler. Now behind the net it goes to Maddie Carr. Carr swings it in the middle to Clark. Wide of the net. Mount Union will retain possession. 45 seconds and counting. On the shot clock, it's Julia Bates with it. Over to Clark. Clark in the middle of the field, rattles it home as she bounces it right in front of the Yellow Jacket goal. And Pottinger cannot get a hold on it. And it goes into the back of the net. Clark with the hat trick here in the first half. She has three of Mountain Union's seven goals, and they lead it 7-1 with 13.57 to go here in the second quarter. So Mellon versus Sam Carr once again. Flipped up into the air and controlled by Kessler of the Purple Raiders. She'll hustle across midfield quickly into the attack zone. Gets to the right wing of the arc. Sends it over to Emily Nanaroni. Nanaroni will jog behind the net. And she'll outlet it to Kalstad on the left wing. Now out front it goes to Bates. Bates runs to the right wing, gets into the arc, looking for a shooting link, can't find it, gives it to Kessler. Kessler will rocket a shot, low left side, and it's a Mountain Union goal. They go ahead 8-1 to one with 13-18 to go here in the first half. Bates picking up the assist for the Raiders. Carr will draw once again. Mountain Union has dominated 7-2. to Make that 7-3 now as Mellon will chase it down. Mellon sends it to the middle of the field, but it's scooped up by Matty Carr as Mellon's pass 
bounced over the stick of Kat Radek. Car in it to the attack zone and behind the net. She'll send it over to Sam Carr behind the net. Back to Emily Nanaroni. She gets to the middle of the field, loses a handle on it twice. Mount Union keeps it, and we have a stoppage in play. And it will be Emily Nanaroni with a free position shot. She passes up the shot to Kessler out top now. Into the middle of the field. It's batted away from Kallstad twice. And she'll corral it on the left wing. Out front to Kessler. Kessler driving right. Fires a shot. Into the back of the net for another Mountain Union tally. That is nine unanswered for Mountain Union. They lead it nine to one with 12.14 to go here in this second quarter. Mellon will draw for the Yellow Jackets once again. The Mountain Union Purple Raiders will switch it up and go with Julia Bates. And Bates will flip it down the field and it will be scooped up by Emily Nanaroni. She'll jog it off left side. Send it to Katie Clark. Out front it goes to Kallstad. Calls that out to Bates. Now behind the net it goes to Maddie Carr. Carr outlets it to Colstead. Into the middle to Bates. Bates fires it on net and it's saved by Pottinger. Morgan Massey hustles up the field for the Yellow Jackets. She'll outlet it to Lily Poland and sends it over to Carly Kern. Kern outlets it to Lily Tope. Tope drives it to the middle of the field, has it poked away, but it's scooped up by the Yellow Jackets. Keeping it alive, that's Rennick Mellon. Mellon charges towards the goal, fires a shot. It's deflected by the Purple Raiders. She'll scoop up the rebound, send a pass to a teammate, but Mount Union will corral the loose ball. It's Megan Cassiola coming up with the ball. She'll drop it back to Lindvist, who will rocket it up the field to Tara Santoro. She'll outlet it to Maddie Mitchell. Mitchell up the field with a pass to Julia Bates. And gets dropped back to Mitchell. She'll reverse it left side and overshoot Megan Cassiola. It'll be tracked down by the Purple Raiders. Jillian Maffitt. Came up with the loose ball. Now it gets sent over to Bates in the middle of the field. In the attack zone to Clark. Clark over to Maddie Carr, and she'll fire it into the back of the net for another Mount Union tally. Good bit of passing right there by the Purple Raiders. It looked like it was too tall for Maddie Carr, but with a jump, she was able to catch the pass. And then uh, after just taking one or two steps, 
was able to put it home for another Mountain Union goal, and they lead it 10 to 1 with 9:48 to go here in the first half. Bates versus Mellon on the draw. And it gets sent down the field and overrun by one of the Yellow Jackets. Mountain Union possession. Gets to Katie Clark and she tries to go Short side with the shot is off the mark. Mount Union will keep possession. Clark with it now. Jogging from behind the net to Bates. Bates puts it high right side, and it's in for a Mount Union goal. They now lead it 11-1 with 9.23 to play in the first half. With the 10 goal differential, we have started a running clock here at Trestle Field. If at any point the Mountain Union lead dips under 10, we will go back to a normal time clock operation, I should say. Controlled by the Purple Raiders. It'll be Katie Clark coming up with the ball. Outlets it to Bates. Bates runs it out top, off to the right side. Now back left. She swings it over to Colstead. Colstead trying to drive. And she will get to the middle of the field. Fire a shot off the post. It's redirected and controlled by the Yellow Jackets. It's Morgan Massey coming up with the ball. She gives it to Pottinger. Back to Massey, right side. Into the, the middle of the field with a pass. It goes to Carly Kern. She'll reverse it. Left side to Deanna Lucas. Lucas with a stutter step, trying to spin around one defender. And a stoppage in play. The Yellow Jackets will retain possession. It's Lexi Conway with the ball. She drives towards the net, fires it, and it's deflected by Mount Union, but it wouldn't have counted anyway as the Yellow Jackets were whistled for a foul. Turnover for BW, Mountain Union will take possession. Seven minutes in counting left in this first half. Mountain Union with a commanding 11-1 lead. We're under running clock rules and have been for just under two and a half minutes now. Kessler with the ball. Out top, she'll jog off left side and pass to Kolstad who gives it to Clark on the right wing. Clark to Bates. Bates on a drive with a spin move to her left. Gets a lane. Fires it on net. And it's another goal for the Mountain Union Purple Raiders. And it's now 12-1 to in favor of Mountain Union. Bates joining Kessler and Clark with hat tricks for the Purple Raiders. Mellon 
Brennan Bates will draw for the Yellow Jackets and Purple Raiders respectively. Slipped up in the air and will be awarded to the Purple Raiders. It's Bates with it, across midfield, lobs it to Colstad, over to Clark on the left side. Now it's Kessler on the right wing, behind the net with a pass to Matty Carr. Carr into the middle to Clark, and Clark gets absolutely smoked by one of the Yellow Jackets. She goes down in a heap. And she was absolutely crushed. And it looks like that was Lauren Comack who committed the foul, and she'll be sent off. Clark took a few minutes, a few seconds rather, to gather herself on the field before being helped up by her teammates. And Clark, one of the leading scorers for Mount Union, one of two players who came into today's game with 40 goals. She's also second on the team with 26 assists, and it, she leads away with 66 points. Four of her goals have been game winners. She's up to 43 goals on the season as she's already tallied three. And she is taking a long walk under her own power to the Mountain Union bench. Kessler with the ball for Mountain Union. Gets swung over to Emily Funk, the 5'4 sophomore, into the game for the first time. Kessler with a shot and Pottinger with a save for Baldwin-Wallace. She'll outlet it to Rennick Mellon. Mellon across midfield. It, her, her pass gets batted towards midfield. She'll scoop it up again. And she's getting heavy pressure from Funk. And now she'll outlet it left side to Luma. May, excuse me. Behind the net it goes to Lexi Conway. And then it gets reversed left side to Deanna Lucas. Out front to Cat uh, Radek. Now to Lexi Conway again. Conway jogs to the right wing and sends it left side to Lucas. Lucas runs right side, looking for a shooting lane, can't find it. Tries a spin move, goes back left. Now to Radek. Radek bounces it towards the net. It's wide left side, and it will be Purple Raider possession. Linfist sends it up the field to uh, Maddie Mitchell. Mitchell now uh, to uh, Cassiola. Cassiola sends it over to Maddie Carr. Maddie Carr behind the net with a pass. He goes out top now to Kessler. Kessler on the drive, fires a shot towards net. And Pottinger with the save. On the outlet, she'll find Lauren Comack. Comack draws a foul against the Purple Raiders. She'll give it to Pottinger, who tries to send it up the middle of the field, and it's scooped up, loose ball by the Purple Raiders. 
Kessler coming up with it. Outlets it to Bates. Back to Kessler. Mountain Union being very deliberate right here as Sam Carr sends it to Maddie Carr. He'll get reversed behind the net. And go out to Emily Funk. Now on a drive, a shot on net. It's Mackenzie Colstad with the Mountain Union goal. And they lead it 13 to 1 with 118 and counting left in this first half. versus Bates on the draw. It's flipped straight up in the air. Mellon on the jump. Tried to get it and possession is awarded to the Yellow Jackets. It's Lumay with it. 20 seconds to go in this first half. Lumay drives left side. Gets it poked away. Keeps possession. Eight seconds left to go. Lumet with a free position shot coming up. She gets a signal, hustles towards the net, and she's off the mark with it. And that will bring the first half to an end as the Mountain Union Purple Raiders hold a 13-1 lead over the Baldwin-Wallace Yellow Jackets. We're going to step aside for a break when we come back. We'll take a look at some first half stats and preview the second half for you as we continue women's lacrosse action here at Trestle Field at the George Finney Stadium on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Trestle Field at the George Finney Stadium on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. Matt Floor Jancic along with you for the call of today's game between the visiting University of Mountain Union Purple Raiders and the host Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets at the half. Mountain Union with a 13 1 lead over the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets, and they have been led in scoring by a trio of athletes who have registered hat tricks as Julia Bates, Katie Clark, and Eden Kessler. Each have three goals for Mount Union. Bates and Clark have added three assists each. Mackenzie Kolstad and Maddie Carr have added the other four goals for Mount Union. The lone tally was the first of the game for the Yellow Jackets as Lily Tope scored in the opening two minutes. But since then, Mount Union has scored 13 straight for the yellow or against the yellow jackets and taking a look at the team statistics Mount Union out shooting the yellow jackets 26 to 6 shots on goal Mount Union 18 yellow jackets 3 free position shots Mount Union is one of one saves the yellow jackets have made 5 to 2 for the Mount Union Purple Raiders and in the faceoff circle Mount Union has dominated as they have won 11 of the 15 draws in to, in tonight's game Ground balls just about even. Mount Union with a 7-6 edge. Turnovers, the Yellow Jackets doubling up. Mount Union 8-4, cause turnovers. Mount Union has six. BW has just three. And Mount Union has committed five fouls to three fouls for the Yellow Jackets. Abby Linfist, the goal for Mount Union. She has two saves with one goal allowed. Carolyn, Caroline Pottinger for the Yellow Jackets has five saves in 26 shots faced. Rennick Mellon and Julia Bates will face it off. back to the left of midfield and it'll be controlled by Mount Union. Mount Union going from right to left here in this third quarter. BW going from left to right. Kessler with the ball. She'll send it over to Sam Carr. Now to Maddie Carr behind the net. Carr to Kessler. Kessler over to Julia Bates out top. Bates sends it right side. It's deflected and controlled by the Yellow Jackets. Lauren Comack with the ball. She gives it to Pottinger. Now Pottinger will send it over to Morgan Massey, but it's stolen away by Kolstad. Kolstad driving to the middle of the field, fires a shot on net. It's a save for Pottinger. She'll outlet it to Carly Kern. Kern lofts it down the field, and it'll find Maddie McCrone. But the Yellow Jackets lose possession, and Mountain Union will get it back. It's Tara Santoro with it. She outlets it to midfield, where it gets reversed over to Kolstad, not a Kessler. And a foul whistled against the Yellow Jackets. It'll be Mountain Union possession. Kolstad sends it left wing over to Funk. And she'll get it right back and reverse it right side to Kessler. Now behind the net it goes to Maddie Kern over to Sam Kern. Out to the left wing to Funk. Out top to Bates. Now to Kessler on the right wing. Behind the net, it goes to Maddie Kern. She was looking for a driving lane, couldn't find it. Gives it up to Kolstad. Kolstad out front to Funk. Deflected pass over to Maddie Kern. 
Now to the right wing. She goes with a pass. Before it gets sent behind the net again. And it's Kessler with the ball. Kessler into the middle of the field. Rifles a shot towards the net. It goes high. Mount Union still with possession. 15 on the shot clock. And it's Maddie Kerner. Maddie Carr, excuse me, with the ball. She sends it into the middle of the field to Bates, and Bates will put it home for the Mountain Union tally. Mountain Union now with a 13-goal lead, 14-1, with 12 minutes to go here in this third quarter. Mountain Union has scored 14 straight goals after the Yellow Jackets opened up with the game's first tally. Bates and Mellon. Will draw at midfield. Gets flipped up into the air. Batted away by Rennick Mellon. Over to Deanna Lucas. The Yellow Jackets control it. Lucas with a step around the defender. Sends it up the field to Lexi Conway. Conway sends it out left side. It's flipped over to Lume. Lume hands it to Tope. Tope in the middle of the field, lofts it towards the net. It's collected by Lindfist. Union quickly across midfield is Kessler with the ball behind the net. Sends it over to Sam Carr. Now lets it to Maddie Carr. Carr out front. It goes to Madeline McCracken. Now to Funk behind the net. Over to Maddie Carr. Maddie Carr to Sam Carr on the left wing. She'll send it out top to McCracken. Right wing pass to Kessler. Now it gets reversed to Maddie Carr. Up to Sam Carr on the left wing. Carr drives in the middle of the field looking for an outlet. It gets deflected in front and it's scooped up by the Yellow Jacket keeper, Caroline Pottinger. She outlets it to Lauren Comack. Comac jogs it into the front, or <laughs> across midfield, I should say, before losing a handle on it and regaining possession. She'll lob it over to Deanna Lucas. Lucas sends a pass right side to Lume. Now to Lexi Conway. Conway trying to drive. She loses a handle on it, and we have a stoppage in play. Lexi Conway will have a free position shot. She charges towards the net and backs out quickly with a pass to Maddie Macron. Uh, gets reversed left wing. It's Radek with the ball, and the Yellow Jackets will keep possession. After a stoppage in play. Another free position shot. This time it will be Deanna Lucas with it. She 
She charges the net, fires it up her left corner, and she scores for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. That broke a long run for Mount Union as they had scored 14 straight in between the Yellow Jackets' two tallies tonight. BW cuts the deficit to 12, 14 to 2, with 7.13 to go here in this third quarter. No change in clock operation yet. Yellow Jackets down by 10 or more goals. They're currently down by 12. The clock will continue to run. Mellon and Bates on the draw once again. And it will be controlled by the Yellow Jackets. Deanna Lucas hustling after it to scoop it up. Lucas lobs it up the field to Lume. Lume over to Lexi Conway. Conway with it behind the net. Conway charging towards the net after getting a pass from a teammate. She sends it wide left side. The Yellow Jackets will keep possession just over the just past the halfway mark of the shot clock. The Yellow Jackets still with 36 seconds left now. Out front it goes to Macron. And in the middle of the field with a pass and is stolen away by the Purple Raiders. That's Megan Cassiola coming out with it. She tries to give it to Bates, and Conway almost took it away for the Yellow Jackets, but Mount Union will retain possession. It's Kessler hustling down the field, splitting a pair of Yellow Jackets. Sprint to that right wing before she gives it to Maddie Carr. Back to Kessler, and she'll rocket a shot towards the net that's off the post left side. It will be scooped up by Morgan Massey and lobbed over to Pottinger. And she will sail it out of bounds. It will be Mount Union possession. Ella Najad with possession. It gets sent into the middle of the field to Kolstad, and she loses a handle on it. Deanna Lucas with the ball for the Yellow Jackets. She passes up the right side of the field to Lume. She's got a step on a defender, gets to the 8-meter mark, and her pass is off the mark and high. Stoppage in play on the far side. And it looks like the Yellow Jackets will get a free position shot. With the save, that's Linfist. BW retains possession with 60 seconds to go on the shot clock and 3.33 to go here in this third quarter. Out front it goes to Radek. Radek drives left side, fires it on net, and another stoppage in play. It'll be Mount Union who gets awarded the ball. Linfist will outlet it to Kessler. Kessler lobs it across midfield to Maddie Carr. Carr runs it right side. She'll outlet it to Emily Funk. Out top it goes to Kessler. She'll run it off right side. 
Now a Maddie car behind the net. Over to Emily Funk, and there's a collision in front of the Yellow Jacket cage. It's controlled by the Yellow Jackets. Morgan Massey hustles across midfield. She outlets it to Lume. Now to Lexi Conway. Conway behind the net. Two minutes to go in this third quarter, and the Yellow Jackets will tally. Deanna Lucas with the goal for the Yellow Jackets. Conway picks up the helper. That's the Yellow Jackets' third goal of the game. After giving up 14 straight, they've now scored back-to-back -back goals. 133 to go here in this third quarter. The Yellow Jackets trail Mountain Union 14 to 3. Rennick Mellon and Julia Bates will draw it up. Now they're going to send Bates away and let Maddie Carr draw it up against Rennick Mellon. Flipped up into the air and controlled by Maddie Carr. She lobs it left side to Funk. Funk out to Maddie Carr. Out top to Kessler. Over right side to Bates. Bates out front to Kessler. Jackets are whistled for a foul, so Mountain Union will get a free position shot. And it's Kessler who will tee it up. Under 10 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Whistle blows. We're back in play. And the shot is deflected, and it's into the net for the Mountain Union goal. Pottinger appeared to have the save. It bounced off of her stick over her head and dropped into the net. And that will give Mount Union a 15-3 lead over the Yellow Jackets on Kessler's goal. While well, we have this break in the action as we switch sides for the start of the fourth quarter. I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket women's lacrosse game is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893, Chuck Rotuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider, Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official healthcare provider of Baldwin Wallace University, Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics, Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, the home of the Monday Night Athletics Roadshow, and Antonio's Pizzeria of Middleburg Heights, the official pizza sponsor of Yellow Jacket Athletics. You are listening and watching Yellow Jacket Women's Lacrosse Action on BWYellowJackets.com and OAC TV. And also during this break, I want to remind you that the Baldwin Wallace University and University of Mountain Union Women's Lacrosse teams are dedicating tonight's game to the life and legacy of Morgan Rogers, a former Duke University lacrosse student athlete who died tragically in July of 2019 after battling mental health struggles. Although Morgan's life was cut way too short, her legacy of unconditional love remains. Morgan's message was created by her family and former teammates with the mission to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health, normalize the conversations about mental health, and to ensure that mental health is treated equally to physical health for all student athletes. It was also created to empower those who suffer in silence and to support those who feel alone. 
to find out more information on Morgan's life and legacy or ways to support Morgan's message and how you can help those with mental health struggles, please visit morgansmessage.org. As we start this fourth quarter, Mountain Union has a 15-3 lead over the Baldwin Walsh Yellow Jackets. It's Rennick Mellon taking the draw for the Yellow Jackets against Maddie Carr, and it'll be Deanna Lucas who comes up with the ball for the Yellow Jackets. Over to Lume. Lume jogs it from the right side to the left. And behind the net it goes to Lily Tope. Behind the net, it goes to Deanna Lucas now. Lucas outlets it to Conway. Out front, it goes to Radek. Radek on the drive. Flips it to Mellon. Mellon drives to the middle of the field. And she will draw a foul on Mount Union. It looks like she is going to get awarded a free position shot. Mellon charges the net, flips it up, and it's wide left side. It'll be scooped up by Kessler of the Purple Raiders. Kessler hustles across midfield. Sends it left side to Matty Carr. Back to Carr on the left wing. Out of Sam Carr on the right side. Over to Bates on the right wing. Mountain Union being very deliberate here. You've used a third of the shot clock. It's down to 60 seconds now. Bates drives the middle. Flips it into the middle for Sam Carr, and it's scooped up by Pottinger. Instead, she'll outlet it to Carly Kern. Kern lofts it down the field, and it's scooped up by Radek. She'll deflect it to a teammate. And that's Rennick Mellon coming up with the ball. Mellon lobs it up the field to Deanna Lucas. Lucas sends it right side to Lume. Lume to Lexi Conway. Conway in the middle. Gets it stripped out of her stick, but a foul has been called on Mountain Union, and Conway will get a free position shot. Conway on the drive, bounces it in front of the net, and it's a goal for the Yellow Jackets. That cuts the deficit to 15-4 to with 11.54 to go here in this fourth quarter. is Maddie Carr in the draw and it will be controlled by Kessler for the Purple Raiders. She outlets it to Maddie Mitchell. Mitchell sends it up the field to Megan Cassiola. Now across midfield it goes to Maddie Carr. Carr to Funk. It will be sent back left side. Back to Funk behind the net. She'll outlet it to Kolstad. Kolstad on the drive. Has it shut off. She'll kick it out to Najad. And 
Najad finds Funk in the middle of the field, and Funk will put it home high and left side for the Mountain Union tally. Collision near midfield after the draw, and it'll be controlled by Mount Union. It's Kessler with the ball. She swings it over, and now it gets sent behind the net to Sid Sidney Nicole Nikolevsky. Nikolevsky sends it out to Funk on the right wing. Out the Bates. Now out top it goes to Kessler. She'll reverse it left side. Kolstad with it. Lobs it into the middle of the field. And it's Funk who draws the foul against the Yellow Jackets. Funk with a free position shot. She gets the signal, charges towards the net, bounces it past the goaltender or goalkeeper and into the net for another Mountain Union goal. They leaves it they lead it, I should say, 17 to 4 with 8 minutes and 8 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. Maddie Carr and Rennick Mellon will go back to midfield for the draw as we hit the midway point of this fourth quarter with Mount Union in front of the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets 17 to 4. Mellon flips it up into the air and it's controlled by Kessler once again. Kessler hustles across midfield on the right side of the field. He outlets it to Najad. Out, out front it goes to Kolstad. Back to Najad. She'll run it out top. Now charge inside. Fire it high and wide of the net. Mountain Union will keep possession though. Jod will be awarded a free position shot. She charges the net, fires a shot. It goes low and left side. Wide of the net. The possession goes to the Yellow Jackets. Pottinger will outlet it left side. She'll find Lauren Comack with the pass, Comac across midfield. Down to Lume, Lume on the left side of the field. She'll lob it behind the net to Alexi Conway. Conway out front to Radek. Radek to Conway.
Long way back behind the net. Now it gets reversed over to Macron on the left side. Macron sends it right side to Radek. She'll give it back to Conway. Into the middle to Lily Tope, and her shot's wide of the net. The Yellow Jackets will keep possession. 27 seconds on the shot clock. Tope missed the pass. Going to the middle of the field as four Purple Raiders converge on her. Mountain Union takes possession. It's Kolstad with the ball across midfield. Under five minutes to go in this one. Najad with the ball. Out front it goes to Kolstad in a stoppage in play. Has been signaled and one of the Yellow Jackets will be sent off after her stick broke. Not a common occurrence, but it does apparently happen, and she will get a new stick before heading back onto the field. Kolstad sends it left side. Now it goes behind the net and to Najad, and Najad will put it home for the Mountain Union goal. They lead it 18-4 with 4-10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Maddie Carr picking up the helper on Najad's goal. Six different Mount Union players have scored multiple goals in this game. Bates and Kessler lead it with four each. Clark and Clark added three. Kolstad, Maddie Carr, and Emily Funk each with two. And now Ellen Najat with her first goal of the game. Carr versus Mellon on the draw, and it's controlled by the Purple Raiders. Kolstad with it out front. 3-0-1 left to go. She'll send it left side. That's Ella Sinopoli with the ball. Now it gets reversed over to Najad on the left wing. Najad right wing to Bates. Now behind the net it goes to... Nikolevsky, she'll send it to Maddie Carr. Carr looking for the centering pass. It's wide of its intended target, but Najad will hustle after it to keep it alive for the Purple Raiders. Bates with it on the right wing. She'll send it left or back to the right wing after driving middle. This time it'll go to Kessler. Kessler has it poked away, but she controls it and gives it out front to Najad, who tries the quick handoff to Kolstad. And after a signal from the officials, Mountain Union will keep possession. Now the Yellow Jackets will get awarded the possession. Timeout. And we have a timeout on the field by Baldwin Wallace. While we have this break in the action, want to remind you that tonight's Yellow Jacket Women's Lacrosse game is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, 
proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company, risk and insurance leaders since 1893, Chuck Rotuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider, Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University, Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics, Mike's Bar and Grill in downtown Berea, the home of the Monday Night Athletics Roadshow, and Antonio's Pizzeria, Middleburg Heights, the official pizza sponsor of Yellow Jacket Athletics. You are listening and watching Yellow Jacket Women's Lacrosse action on BWYellowJackets.com and OAC TV. BW with the ball. Pottinger will take a pass from her teammate on the left side of the field. Far side of the field, excuse me. And she will be very deliberate in waiting for a passing lane to open up. She'll lob it down the middle of the field where it is controlled by the Purple Raiders. That's Carissa Sponseller coming up with the ball. She'll hand off to Kessler. And Mountain Union can use it all. The shot clock is off. One minute and three seconds left in this game. Sydney Nikolevsky out to Kessler. They, the Purple Raiders lose possession, and it's Lauren Komak with it. She'll outlet to a Pottinger. Pottinger gives it a spin and then uh, lofts it down the field. Carly Kern with it, giving it to Radek in the middle of the field. Radek hustles down the right side, gives it to Lexi Conway. Conway looking back door to Macron. She catches it. And flips it over to Lume. And stoppage in play. Looks like the Yellow Jackets will get a free position shot. Five seconds and counting in this regular season finale. And before the Yellow Jackets can get the free position shot, the final horn sounds and the Mountain Union Purple Raiders will close out an undefeated regular season conference record with an 18-4 win over the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. Mountain Union improves to 12-3 overall and a perfect 7-0 in Ohio Athletic Conference play. The Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets fall to 3-13 overall and 1-6 in Ohio Athletic Conference play. That'll do it for the broadcast here today at Trestle Field inside George Finney Stadium for everyone at Baldwin Wallace University who made this webcast possible. Want to send out some thank yous to them and also thank you for tuning in to today's game between the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets and Mount Union Purple Raiders. For everyone here at BW, I'm Matt Florjancic saying have a great night, everybody, and go Jackets.